Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of 7 Minute AE Tutorials where you learn AE tips, tricks, and shortcuts in less than 7 minutes. No BS, just AE. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to deal with issues that sometimes arise when converting vectors to shape layers. As amazing as After Effects is, sometimes it just doesn't get this conversion exactly right, so it may take some finessing to get the results you want. I'll be referring to a technique to prepare these images that was covered in Episode 7, how to use Illustrator to convert vector images into shapes used in AE. So refer to that episode if you have any questions regarding that step of the process. Let's dive right in. First, I want to show you what happens when things go right. I've got this collection of uh, pills and bottles and things like that for a pharmacy or like a medical kind of infographic. And you want to bring this in as a composition. That way it separates each layer. And as you can see, it gives you this composition right here and also a folder with each individual layer. Okay, so let's just bring in this first vector here. Uh, we can see it kind of goes off the screen and hit P, Shift, S to bring up position and scale. This is basically the process. You want to right click on this layer and choose create shapes from vector layer. Layer. And so this creates a shape layer with groups that create this image. So now you can actually get rid of our original vector. As you can see, there are no borders that go outside of this image, uh, meaning that there are no groups that have created artboards. Okay, so now this is an example of when things go right. So let me show you now an example of when things go wrong. And we're going to bring in this collection of avatars. And again, let's bring them in as a composition. So first let's bring in this vector here and we can hide this other layer. I'll be referring back to it. So now this is a vector of a young lady and we are going to be converting her into a shape layer using this vector. So hit P, Shift S to bring up position and scale. If you uh, hit Y, it gives it your pan around tool and you can kind of bring it there, there in the middle. So that way when you scale it up, you have a little bit more control over it. Now let's right click on this, create shapes from vector layer. And again, it's going to create a shape layer with groups that create this image. We're going to keep this layer up for reference purposes. Bring up our position and move it to the side so we can have something to compare it to. As you can see, our shadow is messed up here. And uh, After Effects has created uh, a layer for this artboard. And you can see the, the difference between that and our pill bottle where there's nothing outside of this pill bottle with our... Uh, avatar there is. So the question is, how do we get rid of that? And how do we fix this issue with this shadow? If we bring up our contents here, we see we have 17 groups. Now, the first thing to do is to figure out which group uh, has this shadow on it, because that's the one that's going to give us the trouble. And as you click through these groups, you can, you can see what each one is for. Like this is for her shoulders, group nine is for one of her eyes. So let's just click through until we find this shadow here. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be 15. And let's go ahead and just rename this shadow highlight all of our groups except our shadow group open those up and the issue that we are having for this are all of these little groups in here inside of these groups highlight all of these groups you see this group one inside of all of these group four group five there are all these groups in here and i'm not sure exactly why after effects does this with some vectors and not with others but in my experience this is the cause of the issue that people are having for these uh, extraneous artboard groups here so with all those highlighted, hit delete and it gets rid of those. And now see, there's still one there that's going to be in our shadow. And the way you know it is, if we get rid of our shadow, see that artboard goes away. So it's these groups in here that are causing the problem. So now if you were happy with this avatar like this, then you can actually just save this as a shape layer and be done with it. But I'm not going to stop there. I'm not going to leave that hanging. I want to show you guys how to actually fix this. So let's turn our shadow back on. This is the only group we did not uh, delete the group within the group. So what we want to do is let's open up this group and we have all of these paths. Figure out which one of these paths we don't need. And so let's just click through. We're going to hide these paths as we go. So if we get rid of path one, that doesn't really do much of anything. Get rid of path two, that looks like that's our artboard. Let's just actually, so actually path one and path two here. These two are the ones we're having issues with. So we can actually get rid of those two paths. So just delete that. In order to get our shadow the right color, what we're going to do is turn back on our vector layer. And uh, let's just move it over to the side. Let's go back to our shadow group. Click on our fill up here and grab the eyedropper and just choose that color. It looks like there's a little bit of a gradient on this shadow. So, you know, you can kind of play with that. If you go into your shadow here, click add gradient fill, kind of 
play around with that a little bit. Go to your colors here. If you edit your gradient, what you want to do, let's highlight, say, this one here. And we'll grab this darkest color, grab this one here, and grab this lightest part of it. Just kind of play around with these settings. So you can preserve these vectors with these shape layers even when you have some issues. Just grab all these groups and just collapse them. And then what I'll do sometimes is I'll add other groups to make this a little bit more workable. Uh, your last group is almost always gonna be your background layer. So let's just rename that background. We can bring our shadow down, add a group avatar and pull that above our shadow. And then let's just grab groups one through 16, pull it into the avatar. So see, this is a little bit more workable now. Avatar, shadow and background. Now let's just highlight this layer here and I'm gonna use this move anchor point and I will include this in the project files for this tutorial. And let's just center that, okay? And then let's align it to the middle. So that way it's exactly perfect. So let's highlight avatar, shadow, background, but let's also highlight anchor, position and scale. That way this shape layer preset will save all of these settings. If you just highlight avatar, shadow and background, it will save the shape layer, but it won't necessarily have this positioning or this anchor point. Let's go to animation, save animation preset. I have a folder already for avatars. And let's just call this female seven minute AE. And to test it out, let's hide that layer, bring in a new shape layer. And then let's do a search for female. And there we go, it's right there pull that in and there we have it. I hope this helped you out. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to see and if this episode was helpful. Thanks everybody. See you next time.